Welcome back to Sports Scenes. Thanks for tuning in. Still on doping, the International Paralympics Committee banned Nigeria's former Paralympic and Commonwealth Games champion Esther Onyema for four years in May. The 38-year-old para power lifter is highly regarded in Nigeria after winning gold and silver medals at the London 2012 and Rio 2016 Paralympic Games. CGTN's Deji Badmus interviews Onyema on her ban. Were you surprised by the decision of uh, the International Paralympics Committee? I feel so sad because I can't imagine myself to fall into that kind of victim. Because this is a competition hold in my country, Nigeria. I took it as ordinary common festival, local competition, okay? Because I've been to so many international competition, world competition, many championships. They couldn't find, so, such a thing was, didn't happen. I was so surprised to see that competition held in my country here, whole year, that I, Esther, tested positive. It was like a shock to me. But the first time I got the information, I didn't believe it because I felt, man, it's not me. Later on, they sent me an email that they want to ban me. I was surprised, which I have to reply to them. Did you take any substance at all before the competition? <laughs> not at all. Why? Because we held a um, national festival the one that took place in Abuja. Then a month later, they called the International Competition, hold here in Lagos. Are you getting me? If you look at it, December, January, I don't think there is any way an athlete all over the world, I'm saying it all over the world, we have any opportunity to take anything, any substance because, or any uh, motivator, because it won't work. I, I, I don't know where they got this substance from. It's not part of me. I didn't do it. They say you tested positive to 19 norandrosterone. Then I went to the pharmacy to check on it. They now showed me. I said, eh? I said, wow. Me, I don't know. That is how I left. I said, well, let God have his way. It is, if it is done by anybody in anything in life, there is a reward for it. Whatever anybody on earth, so, so shall he reap. Now, is there a chance that you may have taken this drug by accident somehow? Because, look, we've seen athletes who actually uh, made that claim in the past, and uh, somehow, for some of them, it turned out to be true. No, 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 not at all. Not at so, all. what do you plan to do now? Yeah, what I, have to, what I have to do just to move on in life, because I know when there is life, there is hope. One thing I know... I'll never give up. I can never give up. You mean you're not planning to launch an appeal? <laughs> yes. According to what I have just told you, they send a letter that there is a chance for me to make an appeal, which I did. Are you getting me? I did. Not even up to a week when I heard the news that this is what happened, that I'm on ban for four years. Now, you're not eligible to take part in any competition until May 2nd, 2023. D do you think uh, that by that time now, considering the fact that you are 38 now, do, do you think that you'll be able to make a comeback and compete? Most times, sometimes we travel out of the country. I've also met some other athletes. Some say they are 48, some say they are 52. I was like, wow, how do you do it? Man, I only pray for the best to come in my life, not any other thing. I know with God all things are possible.